Today I'm going to be showing you how I sharpen my chains for my 20 inch saw or 20 inch bar and 16 inch bar on the Husqvarna and I'll show you the method that I use. So here we go. For sharpening I use the easy do and I use with that I use the 732nd inch grinding bars or grinding stones and it seems to work really good just keeps the whenever I sharpen the chains really come out sharp so I think this method I'm using works really good I don't know if you can see it but this grinding stone is getting pretty worn in the middle so I'm going to change out the grinding stone and then I'll be ready to sharpen Start off by marking the chain with a marker so I know when I'm finished. I wear gloves and protective glasses to make sure that there's no metal shards get into my eyes. So as you can see, that doesn't take very long. And I usually have a depth gauge tool that I check the to make sure that the rakers or the um, aren't sticking up too. I guess depth gauge is what some people would call them that they're not sticking up too far. So I put this on and just check to make sure that my depth gauge markers aren't sticking up too far and they aren't. Chain feels really nice and sharp. So it takes care of the Husqvarna CS590. The chain I have on this and is an Oregon chain it cuts really well. I'm really pleased with it. It's the Oregon 20 inch pro chisel chain. 72 EXL has 70 drive links. Now I'll just uh, make sure that it's chain's a little loose, so I'll tighten that up a little. So it'll just barely go over the top of the bar. This 
one's pretty close. I'll tighten her up here. And that's all is finished. Ready to cut. I'm going to sharpen the 16 inch chain on the Husqvarna 440. This is a, a chain that's actually made by Husqvarna. It's the H30. So cuts cuts really good for especially for for small pieces. Yeah, it needs to be sharpened a little. So I'll go ahead and sharpen it now. Some of the newer chains come with a gold link so you can actually tell where you started. I still like to use the marker system. But either way it works equally fine. Okay, check the depth gauges on this side. Looks like the depth gauges are okay. They're not sticking up above this, so not too much anyway. I might have to take them down next time I sharpen. Now it's just a matter of tightening this up. It works a little different on the Husqvarna. It's got its, its own handle for loosening instead of nuts. Then you just have a little wheel that you turn to tighten. Looks up pretty good, pretty handy. Chain's a little more difficult to chains on this little husk of iron. But got the Husqvarna 592 with the heated handles on order. It's supposed to ship around the middle of October. So then I'll have three saws to use when I'm out in the woods. So that wraps it up. All the chains, the small saws are ready to go. And Appreciate you stopping by and hope you have an enjoyable day. Take care. Bye.